So, uh, this was a Rubik's Cube 2, <laughs> which I, 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 I took apart a little bit. Uh, so basically, I wanted to see how this new uh, spherical core worked. Uh, I didn't know if it was any different to, to kind of the, the regular cross core that we have here, which is basically just, um, you know, three lines intersecting, basically. It, it's like a, a 3D X, Y, and Z that, that can, continues to go through each other. And it just ends in, in each of the, of the center pieces, right? Um, but when I started looking at this uh, Rubik's Cube, what I saw was it's, it's spherical in the center. And I, I was just curious how it worked. Uh, it, it was a pretty fast cube. It was really nice. I just wanted to see what was happening. Um, and basically what I found is you can edit the cube, really. You, you can uh, loosen the screws and tighten the screws and, and make it uh, smoother like you can with a normal cube. Uh, you just pop out the center pieces and loosen them up. Um, so I was just kind of curious of how, the, how it worked, especially considering uh, each of the pieces have like uh, plastic in the center. They're, they're like flat to the plastic. They're not stickers, but they're, they're pieces of plastic. Um, so I was wondering for a while how to get this apart. I looked online. I didn't find anything. Um, I looked uh, all over YouTube, everywhere. I, I found absolutely nothing. Um, even on Reddit Cubers, there was, there was no posts. So I, I thought I'd make just a quick video and show you guys how I managed to get this apart, just in case anybody else is, is uh, curious like I was. So if you can see on the sphere here, there are these like um, pinch points you can see uh, here, and there's also two here. So you have this kind of weird finger uh, movement. So you're kind of like interlocking uh, your fingers like this, like this on, on the ball. So there's, there's two kind of horizontal and there's two vertical uh, to each other here on each side. Uh, assuming, I, I, I basically assumed I'd press those and, and the cube would come apart, uh, the, the spherical uh, core anyway. Um, but I found it didn't work. And it was pretty difficult when all of these centerpieces were attached here and, and I was trying to kind of move my fingers around them. Um, so I thought I'd just make this quick tutorial. So basically, um, I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm just going to show with one centerpiece, otherwise we could be here for a little while. Okay, let's get going. So what I'm using here is basically a, a little knife, a little scalpel, um, and a really, really small screwdriver. Um, I, just a, just a, any, any electrical screwdriver, really small. Okay. So what I did, had to do first is um, these plastic pieces give me access to, to the screw, right? Um, but they're not glued down, they're just they're just pushed in and they have these like little caps that stick them to the side. Now you have to be pretty careful with this because uh, it's a knife. So I mean, no matter what you do, it's it's never going to be too safe. So let me just move my camera down a little bit here. And um, so I just, I just put it into the side, push down just a little bit, not so much that if it flies off, I'm going to get stabbed in the hand. Um, just really carefully try all the sides. And basically, I, I just kept trying uh, kind of where it was weakest, and there I felt a little thing. And also, what you'll find is it starts to lift up a little bit, and if you pry on that just a little bit, it, the cap will uh, fly off across the room. So be pretty careful you're not somewhere you could lose them, uh, because you're going to want to stick it back on later. This is, this is a really nice cube. Here we are. So I'm underneath now, but uh, it's going to gonna fly off so let me just point it forward here there we go oh, there we are we lost it so it's just on the ground here and now it's just sep uh, now it's just separated so if you can see on the back there it just has a few caps and it just just slots into that hole there um, but now we've opened up this this access point so we can just stick our little screwdriver in here and loosen it up let's just get rid of that so what we, what we have now is separately we have the little cap we have the the actual uh, plastic rotator and the screw, oh. and we have the screw. Actually, I just hit the the stop button there because the screw fell on my uh, my mouse. Okay, so now we have this really strange looking ball with all these little white points coming off of it, and and this is where you know problem number two happened. I mean, I I thought taking this apart would loosen it up, um, but evidently not. So I, I got my fingers in here and I started pushing as hard as I could on each, both sides at the same time. And you can kind of see it starts to come apart, but it's just not enough. Um, and I, I just got tick of, uh, sick of that and my fingers got tired, um, the, bruised on the tips. 
And I was thinking, how do I do this? And what I thought at first is, if you can see all around the cube, there, you can definitely see it. Uh, there's kind of like a line that goes all the way around to separate the two halves, right? And I was just kind of trying to loosen that up. So I was just sticking the, the, the scalpel in and I was just moving up and down. And I went around. And actually, they're much looser than they were in the beginning. I don't know if that, if that helped me out in the end. Um, so you can kind of stick the scalpel in about halfway around each each of the, the quarters. And you can kind of just give it a jiggle. Um, let me get this one in here. There we are. And you just give it a little bit of a jiggle. And you can do that on all sides. And uh, I, I tried it. then I tried again with my fingers and still to no avail. So next thing, I bring out the, the mini uh, flat top screwdrivers. We were using um, uh, a positive before, and now we're using a, a, a negative, just not to confuse anybody. So uh, instead of trying to pry into these center holes, instead I went back to the uh, these push pins and I. I didn't want to really damage the cube, but it, it seems like you have to kind of wear it out a little bit before anything's going to happen. So I had to push down inside of the push pin there, if you can see, and and lift up, and lift up, and you can see the plastic coming apart now. And then I and then I could get in a little bit further and a little bit further, and then I kind of get stuck at this point. But it's it's a really nice point to to be at. Um, so then I got my other screwdriver, and I. This is going to be a horrible video. And then I placed it in this hole so it wouldn't go back, right? So now I have this hole from there, and it's not going to pop back. Now I can go back to the other little push pin on the other side, the opposite one, and do the same again here. We just push it under there and and pry. So now we've kind of got these two, these two pushing on the same side. That one just fell out, but it's okay because it seems to have a the hole is opening up there and it doesn't seem to be popping back because I've got this other one here. And then I just pried a little bit, just kept prying. Uh, I really didn't want to damage the cube, like I said. Uh, and I don't seem, I don't think I have, but you can definitely see a little bit of wear on on where the push pins were. So now, now it's basically off. It's and I'm continue on the other side and I just go back and forth. And basically now, without even the screws, it's it's basically apart. So now I, I, I think I can just finish off, maybe with my hands. Uh, but the, the pieces in the middle are, are also con connected. Okay, there we are. I opened that up. And, and what you'll find is inside, we have like this thing here. So let me just hold up one half. So we have the one side, two, three. So we have half of the circle here with three of the, the centers. If you look inside, it's kind of like a hole here, all the way across. And on the other side, of course, we have one, two, three of the centers. And if you look inside, is is more like uh, the, the male side of that. So it's just like any any plug, right? It just plugs into there uh, like that and closes together. So actually, not too amazing um, inside. Basically, just just one. Of, Basically, just a, another Rubik's cube design like you would normally see, but kind of separated in half, um, so you can pull it apart. I'm not really sure of the purpose of it, but the cube moves really nicely, um, and I'm I know for sure that actual uh, official Rubik's cubes are never really that nice. They're always kind of stiff, um, but this one is really really nice. So I'm gonna put this back together. I'm gonna keep this one, um, and as you can see, just all it is there is springs, and I needed to remove. Uh, the screw so I could take the, the center point off but I can't screw that in any tighter or, or take it out and just leave it a little bit loose to make the cube any faster it just has this kind of standard um, which I assume is caused by the spring here so I mean we can just clip it back together like no problem just squeeze it and let it click into place maybe I'll need to use my uh, my screwdriver to get that back on actually I just clicked it back on a second ago and then I just before I made this video, takes a little bit of force. Maybe I'll use my screwdriver so I don't I don't damage this this pin here that I'm pushing a bit hard on. Okay, well I, I hope that's uh, that's sufficient. I know it, it really uh, <laughs> confused me for a little while to get this little thing open. Uh, in the end, it, it wasn't anything too special, but um, you know, curiosity of 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 what what was inside here. What what was this little thing hiding? Um, so I'm gonna put this back together and I'm just gonna keep it as a cube. It's very nice. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.